this video for the Xvision 4 channel NVR we're going to show you just how to set up your network settings okay so to do this just simply right click go to main menu go over here to setting and straight into network okay so you'll have a range of um, settings here you can enter so the first thing you should do and there's another video in the series showing you how you can do this is you need to use a thing called IP config on your computer and the video will show you all about that and what it entails and what information you can glean from this but in general what you will want is your IP version will be IPv4 okay there is a newer standard called IPv6 but in general most people the vast majority will be using IPv4 okay so the IP address this is just one I've set here it's 192.168.1.150 just for demo purposes for this video it could be anything within that range that's not been used and this is why you would use IP config to determine your range okay so your range will be just generally speaking the first three of these 192.168.1 and then you'll have a number uh, somewhere up around uh, 254 255 up as high as that and um, that you could potentially use but there may be some IP addresses being used already on your network so generally we'd say you know pick pick a high one because generally when these are getting dished out by routers they start at the bottom and work their way up so you should have a free one near the top of the list and um, what you could do is you could ping that address and see if it was free anyway okay you have another option where you could go for DHCP but this isn't advisable at all so just leave it as static and that's what it is so based on this then on our network here that we're testing on today um, the subnet mask will be 255 255 2550 and by clicking on it then you know you could change the number no problem like that the gateway on this particular network here today is 192.168 1.1 but it could just as easily be 192.168.1.254 and again this is something you will be able to see when you do your IP config of what is the gateway on your network okay so these ports are important for various reasons as in maybe viewing over a local area network or uh, viewing over um, a WAN a wide area network which would be something like if you were viewing over your mobile phone um, you know from a remote location or even a PC laptop tablet something like that from a remote location so you can just leave all these as default okay you can set the max connections to whatever you want and um, by default it's 20 so this would just be the amount of people that are you know allowable at any one time to come in and view your you know view the live streams things like this and also then the preferred DNS now if you this is very important as well if you um, use that IP config tool in the video in this series you will see what your DNS should be okay this is just a particular one that's on the particular router that I'm playing with today um, but it could be anything so it's up to you to check this and make sure it's correct and um, sometimes you'll only be given um, one DNS entry and this is what you should put in as the preferred DNS sometimes you'll be given two and if you are you can enter the alternate DNS and um, just by simply clicking on you know the number and then entering the number that you want or whatever okay and this is it now you can go down here into network settings for other um, for other options and you can read the instruction manual to see what these all are but in general most of these will be set up okay there are some extra things you can do like um, you know email in yourself when there's an alarm and you know things like this and also DDNS which would be if you were trying to view remotely over your mobile phone but did not have a static IP address on your own location okay but for all our videos we always say to people it's just far easier just get a static IP address of your service provider or your broadband provider a lot of service providers or broadband providers will actually give you one free um, there, some may charge it's not extortionate but it just makes all this stuff a lot more simple if you just get a static IP okay so I'm just going to get out of that and what I'm going to do is just click to save and then right click right click and we're back and that's basically it, how you set up the network settings on the Xvision 4 channel NVR 